Sean Davis is co-founder of The Federalist, which you should read if you don't, and he just wrote a great piece for The Wall Street Journal describing the collusion debacle as, quote, a catastrophic media failure. And even that may be an understatement. We're happy to have him join us tonight. Sean, um, <laughs> as you wrote this piece, you obviously collected what you've been watching and thinking about for the past couple of years. How big was your conclusion, was the magnitude of the screw-up here? I think this is probably the biggest, uh, most consequential screw-up uh, of the last 25 to 50 years. It is difficult uh, to really comprehend or, or overstate the damage that the media did to the country, to their own reputation, to the Constitution. This was an absolute catastrophe. I, I don't know any, and I know liberals who feel that way, but I don't know anybody running a media organization on the left who's willing to admit it. I mean, just today there was a piece in which Dean Bacay of The New York Times and the editor of The Washington Post and Jeff Zucker of CNN all bragged about what a great job they did. How could they say that? Well, why wouldn't they? They were given Pulitzers. Uh, they were showered with adulation by their peers. They were able to pat each other on the back and tell them that they were heroes, that they were going to bring down the next president and hold him accountable. Uh, there's no incentive in the mainstream media for them to have gotten this right. All the incentives were in the wrong direction, right. uh, whether it was traffic or viewership or just ideology. There was no reason at all for, for them to get this right. So the Mueller report summary comes out Sunday afternoon, and the next day shows on CNN and MSNBC drop by as much as 50 percent in viewership just on the news. Doesn't that kind of tell you everything about their incentive to pretend that there is collusion, that there is a conspiracy? Their audience goes away without it. Absolutely. And, and we saw the reaction was like a uh, 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 children finding out the tooth fairy isn't real. Um, right. their, their bread and butter in the age of Trump is to ratchet up uh, the hysteria to get people completely freaked out so they feel like they have to watch the news every day and every minute to figure out what's going on. They did a huge disservice to their audience and to the country with their antics and their conspiracy spreading over the last two years. It, I mean, it's hard to know what comes next, certainly in this environment. But, I mean, when the smoke clears and Trump is gone or, what, you know, whatever happens in the next 10 years, where do you go for news? Will anyone ever believe CNN, assuming it still exists, or the Washington Post or the New York Times ever again? How could you? Right, and that's their problem, is they didn't just destroy their own reputations. For all the talk about how Donald Trump has eroded and damaged our vital norms and institutions, it's the media themselves who lended credence to his charge that they were the fake news media. It's the media themselves who yeah. broadcast to everyone, you don't need to trust us, we're not trustworthy. I, I don't know how they come back from this. That's totally right. If you don't want to be called a liar, stop lying. Uh, I guess would be my advice. Uh, Sean Davis, it is great to see you. Thank you for that. Terrific. Good to see today. you. Thank you.